I was actually born in Zimbabwe. So my dad was South African and my mother was English. I was very sporty, enjoyed my sport, not so much on the academic side. And I realized I, I wanted to do engineering. I actually went back to school for a year and redid my final year so I could get better maths marks uh, so I could get into university. So I wish I'd listened to the teachers at the time saying you've got the ability, but you're just not using it. So I joined the South African Institute of Mechanical Engineers and was on the student chapter and, and stuff like that. So kind of got the, the most I could out of out of the, the whole sort of, um, you know, four years of, of study. And a, um old uh, lecturer of mine um, via friends was looking to employ somebody at Finite Elements Analysis Services. So that's the Abacus agent in Cape Town or, or Southern Africa. And um, I think it was the easiest interview I ever had. He sort of saw me, he goes, oh yeah, I remember you. Then you look at my CV and said, you know, when, when can you start kind of thing. So that's how I got into the whole sort of full-time Abacus. Came over to Australia and in Perth, the two main industries are resources, which is iron ore and um, oil and gas. And oil and gas uses Abacus quite extensively. So you know, as soon as people realized I had the skills, um, I sort of got a job at a small um, consultancy and then a larger consultancy being Wood then sort of picked me up and I've been with Wood for almost uh, 10 years now. And so this is where I am. So FFS is fitness for service. When something has gone wrong and you're in an operational environment, they want to know answers as soon as possible, understand what the risks are and then what the, re the re remediation means are. You know, do we need to stop the plant or can we continue or do we need to derate things? It's the challenge is, is getting the information um, to a certain level of accuracy so that you can make uh, a decision based on, on what you're seeing. Um, the simulation is key in doing um, FFS work um, because without it, you just can't get to the solution that you require. So, you need to do the simulation to understand what what the the, the issue is, and how far you you can push the the limits with, within the design. I remember there was one case I was doing this um, FEA of, of a hopper. You know, so I flown the clients and I said, "Can you just go and look in this corner and and see what's going on there?" And about half an hour later, I got this call from the client, and he said, "Yeah, there's a crack about this long," and he sent me a photograph, and he was like, "But how did you know that crack was there?" And, after that, I could do no wrong in, the, in this client's uh, eyes. I'm, I'm always supportive of, you know, Samulia and, and, you know, always always willing to to help. Uh, you know, I've used the product for, for a very long time. If you've used the, the software extensively and you are in a position to, to give back, then I would say definitely become a, a, a champion. Um, you know, I think it's just a, a way that you can give back to the community and certainly with, within Samulia. I love simulation because it gives you an in-depth in insight as to how the world around us operates. We can't achieve what we are achieving from an engineering and science perspective without some form of simulation, especially simulia. Yeah.